How's it going guys? It's me Faris and welcome to another session of my thoughts on. Now that we passed by New York Comic Con 2017, today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming sequel of Pacific Rim titled Pacific Rim Uprising. <laughs> Now during San Diego Comic Con 2017, we got a bit of a teaser that kind of resembles like a marketing campaign because they showed like the new Jaeger program and bunch of new Jaegers like the newly upgraded Gypsy Danger now being called Gypsy Avenger. Now that a teaser trailer has been released at the last day of New York Comic Con, I think it's time for me to share what my thoughts is about this upcoming movie. First of all, this teaser kicks ass. From the looks, the setting, the action, it looks like it's gonna be bigger, badder, going full-blown action. This movie will likely be a departure from Gilmore del Toro's film tone, but I think that it's still gonna maintain the first film's style, cause let's face it, Gilmore del Toro is still producing the sequel. I love the first Pacific Rim movie. It's a dumb, fun, action-packed sci-fi movie with a well-written story, great action, great setting, and of course great effects. Yet it is the best movie that has giant robots fighting giant monsters. It's basically Independence Day with giant robots. The sequel will take place 10 years after the first film with new leads. This time the leading character is Jake Pentecost, played by John Boyega. He is indeed the son of the late Marshall Stacker Pentecost, played by Idris Elba in the first movie. And he's recruited by his adopted sister Mako Mori from the first film to join the new Jaeger program leading new generations of Jaeger pilots to prevent humanity's extinction. It was said that the Jaeger program in this movie is becoming a powerful global defense force in human history. Well, if you win the war, you got to improve the technology to defend the world. I'm pretty sure this sounds familiar. Also, the kaijus are back as they've evolved and they could combine together to make one big ass kaiju and wipe out humanity. Characters from previous film that would make a comeback are Riko Kinkuchi as Mahomori, who is now running the Jaeger program, Bern Gorman as Dr. Godlib, and Charlie Day as Dr. Geisler. Ah, oh, nah, no, call me Newt. Only my mother calls me doctor. <laughs> Joining with the new lead and characters of the first movie are Scott Eastwood as Jake's partner, Nate Lambert, and Kaylee Spanny as Amara. Okay. I love the casting choice for the new characters. John Boyega and Scott Eastwood are great actors and I hope they'll have a great dynamic in combat and out of combat. And I'm also looking forward to Kaylee Spanis' performance in the movie. This movie is going to be like those movie sequels where the characters from previous movie are passing the torch to the new lead of characters. Sometimes a movie sequel that focuses on the new generation of characters could work if they have an interesting dynamic and chemistry. They also need to have good personalities to make their characters memorable, interesting, and even likable. For example, a good film like Blade Runner 2049 and Star Wars The Force Awakens, you see the new characters and characters from the original films interacting with each other and give more development. It's a good touch to see characters from previous movie passing the torch to the new characters. The only sequel that focuses on the new generation of characters that didn't work out was Independence Day Resurgence because let's face it, there's no interesting take on the new character or any charismatic one-liners. The only thing that I did enjoy about was the characters from the previous movie because that's what everyone cares about and that's what I care about. I hope that the new characters in Pacific Rim Uprising would have a great interaction with characters from the previous film to make it more dynamical, interesting, and even memorable. Also, I would love to see a speech homage by the new character, Jake, similar to what his father did in the first movie. At least something make it more better than Bill Pullman's attempt in Independence Day Resurgence because let's face it, that doesn't have any amount of hell yeah for the audience. So in terms of story, it will focus on the new generation of characters and while the characters from previous movie will be supporting characters to the new generations. Since the Jaegers in this movie will be a powerful defense force in human history, the design will go from steampunk imagery to a more Gundam-esque design. While in the first movie, the Jaegers design was basically inspired by tons of Japanese robot designs such as Gundam. This time they have rockets for flying now. The thing that I'm anxious to see is how come there are Jaegers fighting other Jaegers till they damage the buildings in this movie? Is it a 
training exercise or war or competition or something, well, that shit needs to be addressed. Also, another thing that I'm anxious to see is that since Charlie Hunnam's character from the first movie, Rally Beckett, won't be in the movie, they really need to give a mention of what happened to his character. Either for Mako, Newt, Herman, or history, or the opening of this movie, whatever. At least give his character an honorable mention like being the general after the first film or something, whatever. Overall, I have my hype and my skepticism towards this upcoming movie. I hope that this sequel would surpass the first film by far. So what about you guys? Do you guys like the teaser or do you guys not? Share your thoughts and comments below. Guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to check out more videos like this and others. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for more updates, and I'll see you guys next time.